Hello everyone, I uh, just wanted to do an update video to the uh, Pell Flash one that I did the other day. Um, since I got um, got this flash unit working, this one here, um, obviously I'm going to have to um, create some sort of trigger uh, to be able to operate this because obviously um, the things that it takes, uh, that allows you to take photographs off happen uh, in a very short period of time and just randomly uh, pushing the button uh, on the back is uh, is not going to be able to produce um, any any interesting results really. Um, so obviously I needed to create a um, a, a trigger and a d delay system um, to allow me to um, have uh, an object or something that can trigger a timer which will then trigger the flash after a certain period of time. Now my immediate thoughts were to uh, have something falling through um, an infrared light beam which uh, I would then be able to um, uh, create a short timer on to then trigger the flash. So it would be falling on something or falling into something or, or something like that anyway. So what I've done over the weekend is create um, a, a small um, uh, trigger system here. This is on my um, little development board. Um, this is a, a PIC-18 that I'm using. It's a bit, a bit overkill for what I'm doing here. but. I don't know what I might end up using this for, so uh, I thought, yeah, well, I might as well go the whole hog and put plenty in, um, plenty of options for expansion in the future. So what this does is take a um, a trigger input, which is uh, tied into one of the uh, the interrupts on the on the pick, which then produces a uh, a short delay, which is adjustable, which then fires the um, the actual flash unit. So at the moment, this um, is quite a basic setup. Um, I'm just using two um, analog inputs. To... So I've got these two um, adjustment pots here. I'll probably replace these with uh, 10 turn pots or something in, in the final design. So I've got coarse and fine, um, and they simply adjust the time delay between 100 microseconds um, all the way up to um, one second in 100 microsecond steps. Um, I'm not sure whether this is going to be uh, sufficiently granular resolution, I don't know, but uh, I guess I'll find out when I start setting this up. But um, this is always um, changeable and tweakable in software anyway, once, uh, once the hardware is put together. So you can see here I've got uh, the fine adjustment which does the microseconds. That takes it all the way up to 10 milliseconds, and then the course adjustment allows me to go um, into the milliseconds range. So if I just uh, adjust this for, say, 400 milliseconds, and then trigger it. Now I'm just using a, um, a button push here just to trigger it. Um, I'm going to be ordering a, a few components, bits and bobs, and I'll probably get some um, um, photo transistors and various other bits and bobs that I can um, use to play around with this and actually get something functional. So if I just trigger this, you can see now there's a short delay. I can change this up to that's so that's uh, 950 milliseconds or it could come even all the way down to 100 microseconds which will just be almost instant Okay, so another thing I've uh, done with this, I went and bought myself uh, some argon welding gas, you can see here, um, a regulator, and I've connected that up to the, the gas supply. Um, now this, sorry, it does ri fire randomly sometimes, it's usually because the gas flow out of this is too high and it just makes it arc over in, on the inside. Now I've just turned it off. Um, so uh, running the argon welding gas allowed me to increase the, the gap between the, the two electrodes um, 
I would imagine that's going to give you a, a, a brighter a brighter flash I would imagine more light output okay um, by the uh, next update I do on this I'll probably have uh, some kind of rig set up uh, where I can actually um, take photographs of things properly and uh, a whole lot easier um, okay thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video